my channel. This is JB53 Vlog. I hope everyone is doing well. So for today's video guys, I will show you how to calibrate the safety valve of the auxiliary coolers. It is also how to perform the pop test of the safety valve of the high pressure auxiliary boilers. So if you are interested in this kind of video guys, stay tuned and watch this. So test jug is a device used to restrict the safety valve from opening or to keep the safety valve closed. It is used when calibrating or carrying out pop test of the safety valves. So the top assembly of the other safety valve is already removed and the test guard is already installed to the resting safety valve. And now we will mark just to have a reference point on how much we adjust of the adjusting board of the safety valve. To increase the opening pressure, the adjusting bolt must be turned clockwise. If to decrease the opening pressure, the adjusting bolt should be turned counterclockwise. The working pressure of this boiler is 16 bar or 1.6 mega pascal. So the setting pressure of the safety valve should be 110% from its working pressure. This is boiler number 2 and now it is on firing position. The boiler is now steaming at 1.56 MPa. So the goal is this safety valve should open at about 1.77 MPa. So we will see at what pressure does this safety valve will open. So the safety valve opens at exactly 1.77 MPa. Now we will transfer the test gag device to the resting safety valve and let's proceed to adjust this safety valve to be tested. The goal is this safety valve should open at around 1.79 MPa. Now the boiler is on firing and steaming up position. Let's wait at how much pressure does this safety valve will open. The target opening is at 1.79 MPa. So the safety valve opens at exactly 1.79 mega pascal. Now let's proceed to the auxiliary boiler number one. Now we will remove the top assembly of this safety valve and the test gag is already installed to the resting safety valve. So we will remove the top assembly of the safety valve it includes the easing lever, the pin and the cup. So we can adjust this safety valve to the specified opening pressure. The procedure is we must lose the lock nut so we can operate the adjusting board. This mark 
is just for a reference point on how much turn we have made when adjusting the safety valve. To increase the opening pressure, turn the adjusting bolt clockwise and to decrease, turn the adjusting bolt counterclockwise. So we will set this safety valve to open at about 1.75 mega pascal. Now the boiler is on firing position and steaming up. We will see at how much pressure does the safety valve will open. So the safety valve opens at exactly 1.75 mega pascal. After confirming the opening pressure of the safety valve, we should fix the lock nut against the adjusting board and install the test guard to test the other safety valve. So now let's proceed to the other safety valve. The lock nut should be loose so we can operate the adjusting bolt. This mark is only just for reference point on how much turn we have made when adjusting the safety valve. To increase the opening pressure, the adjusting bolt should be turned clockwise to decrease the adjusting board should be turned counterclockwise the target of this safety bulb should be open at about 1.78 mega pascal now the buller is on firing position and steaming up. Let's wait and see at how much pressure does this safety valve will open. So the target is achieved. The safety valve opens at exactly 1.78 mega pascal. Once the opening pressure of the safety valve is confirmed, we should tight the lock nut against the adjusting board. Now everything has done, we will install back the top assembly of the safety valve including the cap, the easing lever, the pin, and the lock of the safety valves.
we will remove the test gag device or the gagging so we can install the, the tap assembly of the safety valve into a normal condition. That's it guys, that's how simple to calibrate or to carry out the pump test of the safety valve or the auxiliary boilers. So I hope you learned something from this video guys. If you are if you have any doubts or if you have any questions or any suggestions, give me a comment down below and I will answer it and for you. If you want to learn more, if you are interested in this kind of topic, comment down below for more marine engineering video guys. We are always here to support I always here to support marine engineers, upcoming training, training engineers, engine cadets. So if you enjoy this kind of video guys, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So until here, and I hope you support me for my upcoming video guys. This is JB23, I'm saying all the best guys and stay safe everyone.